application style. The purpose of the project is for the member to identify his or her primary leadership style or styles. The purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her primary leadership style or discuss leadership styles in general. The length of the speech will be between five to seven minutes. Uh, to sponsor my help, best of luck. Thank you. Hello Toastmasters and guests. In this assignment, I have to present to you my leadership style. When I was writing this speech, I was stuck for a long time because I don't really have a lot of leadership experiences in my life. Uh, for the most part, I talk to people only when I really need something. So I was thinking about what to do and and I thought to myself, the only person I really led is, is myself. I believe to be a strong leader, you first have to learn how to lead yourself. If you want to be a master of the world, you must first be a master of yourself. So I want to share with you today what kind of follower I am and the techniques I use to lead myself. First of all, I'm a very um, hard person to lead. That is because I can always convince myself to do stuff that I really should not do. For example, I know I should not eat but I can always convince myself to do it. How do I stop myself from doing it? I tried various techniques. I tried to tell myself to not do it, it did not work. I tried to scold myself, it did not work. The only thing that did work was when I started exercising in the morning. By um, exercising in the morning, I convinced myself um, at the start of the day that I was um, able uh, to lead a fit lifestyle. And then when I had the urge um, in the afternoon or, in, or the evening to eat junk food, I could tell myself, I'm a fit person, I don't need to do this. It worked. The thing to note here is that when I used force to lead myself, it did not work. The only thing that worked was when I tried to convince myself that I already had it in me, the, the, the quality that I wanted to cultivate in myself. Now this works for me, but I'm sure it will work for you as well. If you want someone to do something, try to make them understand that they already have it in them and what it takes. And then you will see they will perform. Um, in leading myself, my task is not just to stop myself from doing stuff. I also need to make myself do stuff that I don't really want to do. For example, for um, every Toastmaster's speech, I have it in my mind that I don't really want 
to do it. Because it's a scary experience. It is much easier for me to stay at home. I have to lead myself to make a speech. How do I do that? I do that by making a commitment. I commit to Toastmasters by paying fees and by scheduling my speech. And then when my mind tells me that I don't really need to do this, I remind myself that it's a commitment I have made and that I need to keep. Now this is a technique that works for me, but I'm sure it will work for you as well. If you want to lead yourself or you want to lead someone else, encourage them to make a commitment. And then reinforce that, that commitment and you will see that they will perform. To conclude my speech, I want, the one thing I want you to take from this speech is this. To lead, you have to be a leader to, to yourself first. To be a master of the world, you have to be a master of yourself first. And to, and to learn to better other people, you have to learn how to better yourself first. And you will see that the techniques you use to better yourself, you can also use to, to better other people. So let's become better leaders by trying to lead ourselves first. Thank you.